then I'm very good student. Whatever they ask me to do it, I do it very diligently. I follow the home homework and then I go on set. Real characters that we had to play, I just followed. Most of the research that we needed was there in the script. You know, our text was full of all the information that we genuinely needed to. Other than that, honestly, to understand probably the geography of the politics there and so on and so forth, the history. There's a show which was on, I think, Z at that time called Naxal Bari, for which they said, we are going to shoot it in Goa. And they said, you know, forget flying actors in and out. Let's just Cast. Hi guys, welcome to Delhi Chakkar. This is Murtuza Iqbal and today I am with the very talented cast of Jehanabad. Uh, the web series is going to be out soon on Sony Leaf and today we are going to talk to them about a lot of things. So today I have with me Satyadeep Mishra, uh, Harshita Gaur and Ritwik Bomek. Hi guys, welcome to Delhi Chakkar. Thank you, thank, thank you for having us. First of all, I would like to start by asking you this. The trailer is out. What kind of response you guys are getting for it? Good, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, like people who call and tell you that the trailer is great. Even the teaser people really liked and then there are comments on YouTube yeah. when when you scroll down so I think people are interested in the show like there are people talking about oh we need to see what happened in Jahanabad we've been there but you know we don't have uh, full information and there are people saying that whoever their favorite is that we are looking forward to seeing you in this particular show who were they talking about Harshita <laughs> they were talking about all of us who were they talking <laughs> about Harshita <laughs> when you read the comments <laughs> I think the fact that it's on Sony Live Sony Live has a lot of these sort of slow burners right yeah. they have uh, a lot of their shows are they don't make a huge song and dance about it they come on and quietly and then there's this word of mouth that grows because i think the content, content that they speak yeah. is is yeah. very good True. so uh, that's another reason why i think uh, uh, our show should work no no, no, no. the second third Just, week Ha, matlab, all their shows yeah all their shows yeah. Yeah. You know, True. suddenly two weeks later somebody said god have you seen this so yeah. it, I, it's just their, their way of doing things, I think. They just pick up great content and they just have an organic way of doing it. I want to know what made you guys say yes to the project? You need a couple of checks, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> usually but a reason for saying yes very often. Yes. But, uh, I mean, I, I was called by uh, Shogato, who now heads Sony Live, and he said, there's this part, you should do it. And I was very, I remember I was very busy at the time and I couldn't go for the audition for the longest time. And then two months later, the shoot had been pushed and then they just said, just do it without the audition. When everyone, someone say, whenever somebody says that, I say yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's how I did it. Uh, I was working with uh, Sudhir sir that time at Tanav and he's the showrunner for this as well. And uh, he just said, I mean, they said, just read it. And I read it and I said, absolutely. Yeah, I auditioned and then they called me and then they said, let's meet. And then we had a two hour chat and then I think... Uh, I started doing the project. Yeah, in in our case, it was it was the project chose us. Yeah. So we we had tested for it and everything, and then it worked out that way. But I'm but, waiting for a time when the same thing happens. Ki audition then yeah. oh, And why <laughs> we <laughs> also chose to do it was because we like I liked the script. You know, of course, this is based on a real incident. We have read it in media about it. There are articles online about it. But when when you guys do a story that is based on real incident, do, do you also research or you follow the filmmakers? Or the, you know, uh, the showrunner. There is Sudhir Mishra, of course. He's such an amazing right. uh, filmmaker. He's the showrunner, showrunner here. So did you guys just follow his views or you did, did your research as well? I mean, it is a fictional piece based on a true event. In so much as you try and like figure out how the, the real event fits into the idea of the story. Uh, and uh, it does it very seamlessly here. I mean... Um, I, I don't think the makers are claiming that it's, you know, it, yeah. it's sort of completely based on the event. Okay. Just the event inspired. is something that is part of the story. Uh, but yes, I mean, it was, uh, I had no idea what uh, uh, Jahanabad was about till I yeah. first, you know, was told that this was this massive jailbreak, the biggest jailbreak in the history of independent India. And then he said, oh, okay. I was just saying that, um, I mean, I... In general also, I kind of submit to the director and the makers and uh, then I'm a very good student. Whatever they ask me to do it, I do it very diligently. I follow the home homework and then I go on set. So I think that's what I did in this case also. Since we didn't have any, it was not like a research that we had to do separately because there were no uh, real characters that we had to play. So I think I I just followed the writer's vision and whatever he had in mind. And then of course, it's your practice, whatever you do. 
behind to build your uh, character that's right it. yeah most of the research that we needed was there in the script you know our text was full of all the information that we genuinely needed to make sure that the story is told right other than that honestly to understand probably the geography of the politics there and so on and so forth the history of the event and what had happened and why a little bit of research i had done just for me to understand yeah. the world that i'm getting into would it suffice to not have done all of those research and still done jahanabad of course because the script as uh, sir said that it's it's a, it's a fiction show uh, it's a story that has been written but it is based on that one event and the entire story is inspired from it and actually not one event it's one event of the jailbreak yeah. and the romance story that you will see is also inspired from something that rajiv sir a writer yeah. and director there we are people that he met yeah. and he was in the in the heart of the warfare and he met people and he found this love story within that and he amalgamated the two and then made jaharabad out of it so uh, research ki zarurat thi not that much samajhne ki zarurat thi ha for sure you know i would like to ask you when we see cop in hindi movies we have chulpul pandey singham of course you, you play a cop here did you of course not with chulpul pandey singham i have seen it's a very different character <laughs> but did you look at any other actors to get a you know kind so of so my father preference? was an ips officer uh-huh. uh, which is why my entire life when i've seen police officers being portrayed on screen i've cringed a bit because uh, yeah i mean it's uh, that's also what's formed the public yeah. perception of it yeah. uh, so i so i've grown up with an ips officer in the house i've also been shocked by the fact that a script will say ki uh, ye uh, acp hai police ka now i know that if you are 45 year old character playing an acp you've either not been promoted yeah. i mean you're a promotee yeah. or you're not in the so i mean i am very acutely aware of what that means but uh, the way it's written here not here but usually ki police wala hai to koi bhi rank de sakte ho i should say papa ye inspector ka ghar itna kaise bada hai police mein you know so i've never really looked for sort of inspiration yeah. outside of that i've seen my father i've seen his colleagues i've spent a lot of time with around people in uniform so i you know the, the, there is truth of the matter is that there is a lot 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 more cops out there who conform to the people i've seen right. than they do to the people you see on screen so no research you you have to it's a guy you make his back story up and you then try and portray what somebody who's gone through those life experience sport so yeah but you you've got to watch satyadeep bhai in the show genuinely i'm not saying this because he's sitting here uh, i i you genuinely must, you must i have seen <laughs> <laughs> i will take it but, <laughs> but genuinely he's yeah. the way he's portrayed durgesh pratap singh is one of the most unique fascinating approaches to a cop role ever genuinely i like to work with him <laughs> <laughs> you know i would like to know of course uh, you guys have been doing ott you have done bollywood films ott even tv you started with tv and then of course ruling ott and he has also been doing very well on ott during the pandemic of course you know ott grew like amazingly was there did you guys anticipate such a growth for ott platforms while you were working in the medium for myself i was in goa during lockdown one feeling very poor not no i don't having any idea ki bhai ab kya hone wala hai kyunki ek do matlab motorcycle bechne bechne ka time aa gaya hai wow but then there's a show which was on i think z at that time called naxal badi yeah for which they said we are going to shoot it in goa okay. because goa had opened up it was orange zone whatever key and they said you know forget flying actors in and out let's just cast People actors live in goa Correct. so that cast had rajiv had me all the, all, right. all of us living in goa at that time we shot it it, it and suddenly there was like money in the account and saying oh okay life can go on but after that was there, there was no i don't think anybody had a clue of the degree to which yeah. ott would sort of explode at that time so yeah i think it's just happened very organically for me i mean ott exploded which is uh, although i uh, only one show release i didn't work in the lockdown but i was very happy and <laughs> everybody was getting as in the ott because it boomed so much you knew that there are things that are going to come yeah. people are going to make and it's now getting all that validation all that attention also so all in all it was a happy space oh i didn't know anything i had no idea about anything you know as as he said the lockdown was a tough time man and um, i had reached a point cerebrally where i was like ye ho gaya bhai isko sach maan ke chal lo abhi and then from there on everything just picked up for, for me so i've just like decided from here on in life इतना सोचो मत जो फील हो रहा है फील करते रहो आगे का देख लेंगे गो विद फ्लो या राइट सो व्हाट्स हैपनिंग नेक्स्ट आफ्टर जहानाबाद वेयर डू वी सी यू गाइस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू सी अस इन जहानाबाद ऑन 3rd ऑफ फेब ही न्यू दिस आंसर वाज गोइंग दैट्स व्हाई आई सेड आफ्टर नो फर्स्ट सी द शो एंड देन 
We'll do a Zoom call where I'll tell you what I'm going to do next. I'm doing a show tentatively titled Memers for Applause. We don't know what platform it will be in. But otherwise, there's nothing yet at the moment. For multiple things. Uh, a few things that I can't speak about right now, which definitely when the time comes, you'll be the first one to know. But one thing that everybody already knows, uh, second season two of a very popular show is yeah. being shot right now. So very I'm working popular. on that. Season yeah. three of a very popular show is being shot. <laughs> <laughs> right. So actually, my question was coming to you. Do you any update <laughs> you on the popular, popular show? Season three of the popular show. show. <laughs> Yeah, this popular show is coming this year. Yay! I would like to ask you this: a very popular show which you did, <laughs> where you played your current current wife's ex-husband. Yes. So in season two, of course, he didn't get to see you. No. Any plan in season three changing the character and coming back? No. I mean, at that time when season two was being uh, He's already written, changed it from X to yeah, I'd said, yeah, just because I'm dating the protagonist is a very bad idea to put me in the show. <laughs> if the script doesn't require it, and uh, I'd go a step further now to say that just because I'm uh, married to the protagonist is also not reason enough to uh, have me on the show. Uh, but no, I, I mean, I, I but aren't we all just waiting to watch them together on screen again? Yes, yeah. I really yeah. hope so soon. Really he really does a lot more work with her than. <laughs> but no, I'm totally waiting for this to happen again. So I want to watch you guys on. screen again soon right so it was really nice chatting with you all the best for jahanabad and thank, thank you. you so much for being thank with you us so much. thank, thank you. you thank you so guys this was the cast of jahanabad with us stay tuned to telly chakkar so guys this was the cast of jahanabad with us which is going to come on sony live 3rd feb as requested by reflect <laughs> to me and you guys please stay tuned to telly chakkar thank you so much thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Know all about the telly world by subscribing to Telly Chuckers YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated to our new.